How's everybody doing out there? We doing good? Alright, so as I got to tell you a little story I'm not too happy about, okay? Uh, before I came out here, I was in the little boys' room. And uh, you're never gonna believe what I found, okay? One of these, alright? These people are determined. They're trying to get elected. Okay? It's a little ridiculous. Uh, like, I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle this. I'm gonna go to the ballots and be like, oh, Lauren Brand is the girl from the bathroom. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, seriously. In, in these bathrooms at our school, like, what is the deal, okay? Like, I, I went upstairs to the bathroom, all right? I'm going, and I walk in. There is a wall missing to the stall. How did they get that out of there? And why do they want that? I, I, I had a private bathroom, or one that nobody knew about, okay? I come back from spring break, now it's a faculty bathroom. Thank you, faculty. Did you guys have a good spring break? Alright, I did too. Okay, I went to uh, South Padre. It's a little island off the coast of Texas. And a uh, pretty crazy island. You see, it's only about three miles of uh, actual stuff, and the rest is just desert. But on this three miles, there's one road, one road that cuts this island in half. And I swear, on those three miles, they have more ambulances than they have here. It is ridiculous. You're walking, and out of nowhere, you gotta get out of the way. These ambulances are gonna hit you. And I'm starting to question myself. Like, what if they hit me? Are they gonna stop for me or just keep going? And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm like, my parents are paying for this ambulance in their bills. I mean, and I've never ridden in an ambulance. Are we getting our money's worth? So I thought about, you know, what if one time a year you get to use an ambulance, like, like a free pass? You can use it for like, a, if you're late to work, or prom. Prom would be perfect. Uh, my, my girlfriend Taylor, she's somewhere over here. And uh, I don't know if you know Taylor, but if you do, you know one thing about her. She gets a little cranky when she's hungry. Which, uh, I mean, it's kind of the opposite of me. When I get hungry, I start being nice. Because I'm thinking, you know, no one's gonna buy me food if I'm mean to them. <laughs> and so, but I, you know, she's the opposite. So, uh, you know, I, I picked up on this pretty early on. So now I carry around a little snack pack. She starts getting cranky, I toss her a bag of pretzels. Things are good. Right. Yesterday for lunch, I went to the cafeteria, I was gonna get a bag of chips. Right? And uh, I think I actually might have the bag here. Hold on. Oh, I do. <laughs> I got my bag of chips, alright? I go, I get my Doritos, I go to my secret eating location, and I start eating. And I notice on the front of the bag, it says RF. Like, what does this RF stand for? It stands for reduced fat. Reduced fat Doritos. 25% less fat. When I opened the bag, there were 25% less chips. Okay? It's ridiculous. I heard an astonishing statistic a few days ago. It said three out of five people suffer from obesity. Okay, so what, two out of five enjoy it? Like, what is, what is that supposed to mean? There, there is seriously a lady right now in New Jersey trying to become the world's fattest lady. A thousand pounds. It's a pretty hefty goal, literally. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a believer in setting goals high and following your dreams, you know, shooting for the moon. But I think her rocket fell over and she landed in a golden corral. Thank you guys, you guys have been wonderful.